What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So this week we're going to talk about how to create a suspension bridge using the extensions Curviloft and Pipe Along Path. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So this tutorial is loosely based on a bridge over in Spain called the White Bridge. Um, it's not exact because the, that bridge over there has a little bit of an upward arc that we're not going to model. Um, specifically, I'm going to focus on using Curviloft to create the ex or the uh, the suspension pieces so that we can get our shape right. So the first thing we're going to do is the bridge spans approximately 250 feet so I'm gonna start off and I'm just gonna draw a 250 foot line and uh, so one of the things about the bridge is that it kinda curves outward a little bit and I'm not sure exactly how far that goes so I'm just gonna call it 25 feet for right now so all I did is I came in here once I drew this line I just drew an arc across it using the arc tool and uh, I'm just um, drawing this bulge out we'll go ahead and call it 25 feet. So all I did is I typed in 25 feet and hit the enter key to create a 25 foot bulge. Now we're just going to move, we're just going to use the move tool in order to uh, give this some width. So we're going to copy this so that we have our walkway in here. But before we do that, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the number of segments in this arc because when you look up information on this bridge, um, it says that there's basically 39 different suspension wires on the bridge. So what we're going to do is, since we're going to use Curviloft to create our suspension pieces, what we want is we want this arc to have 39 segments. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this line and then uh, up here in the entity info, you can adjust the number of segments in your arc. So I'm going to type in 39. So now you kind of have to zoom in to even see the segments because there's now 39 of them instead of 12. So this is a much smoother curve. Um, so once you've done that, then you can make a copy of it using the move tool. So just select it, use the move tool, activate that by tapping the M key, tap the control key to put it in copy mode, and then we're just going to type in 25 feet and hit the enter key. So that created a copy of this 25 feet away. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw an arc between these two points, so this corner and this corner. And that might, may not be exactly the way that this works on this bridge. In fact, maybe we'll do it from this corner to this corner now that I think about it. So we'll go ahead and draw that arc. And then uh, this bridge, I believe, has a height of... So I believe the arc has a height of about 50 feet. And I looked up all these dimensions online just to kind of get me close. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw an arc. And I'm just going to give it a height of 50 feet just by typing in 50 feet. So, and we can come in here with the tape measure tool and kind of double check that. So it looks like it is 50 feet. Then we're gonna come in here with the rotate tool and we're gonna rotate this so that it kind of curves over top of this object right here. So just activate the rotate tool by tapping the Q key and then you can tap the left arrow key to lock this to the green axis. So you can see how now this uh, protractor tool is green. That's because I'm locked to that axis. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to rotate it. And I'm already not super thrilled with what I'm seeing here, but we'll go ahead and just kind of roll with it for right now. So one of the things I don't like about this is it's not really overlapping this the way that I wanted it to. And that may be because I've got too much arc in these pieces right here. So maybe what I'll do... So all I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw these with a little less of a bulge in here. Um, so maybe I'm going to give it more of a 10 foot bulge and then we'll make our copy 25 feet over. So now we've got our arc here kind of generally and this will be good enough for what I'm trying to demonstrate because the whole point of what I'm trying to demonstrate is how to use Curviloft to quickly generate all these different um, suspension pieces in here. So if you'll remember we do have to go back and change each one of these to 39 segments again. Um, since we redrew that line it kind of uh, reset the number of segments that we had. So I'm just going to go into all three of these arcs and I'm just going to change the number of segments to 39. And so once you've done that what you're able to do is you can come in here and if you select this arc and this curved line then you can activate the Curviloft function in Curviloft 
and you can see how that's going to draw a face in here um, which is good but in this case we don't want the actual face all we want is this vertical geometry well what you've got is you've got an option up here in geometry um, you can see how there's vertical and horizontal lines well if you check that then all that's going to do is generate the edges of this piece right here so if you wanted the horizontals you could uh, do that as well but we don't in this case because we're just creating the the lines right here so you can see how I've come in here and it's generating basically what Curveloft does is it takes every segment of a line and it draws um, a line to the other to the corresponding segment of another piece right here so you can see how this is just drawing lines from segment to segment so it's drawing all these really fast for you so go ahead and click on this and then go ahead and click OK and so now you've got you've got all these vertical pieces or these uh, suspension pieces in here that you can come back and you can create kind of a tube around so we'll do that in a minute but the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing between these two pieces so we have to be a little bit careful on this one because these edges are touching um, you don't want to select both of them and then activate it because it gives you kind of a weird result so what you want to do instead on this one is you want to click on this bottom piece go ahead and activate this and then it's gonna ask you to select a second piece well you can come up here in here and you can select edges and then you can click on that and click the little checkbox and then it'll give you a decent result so don't select both of these just select one then activate the tool then select the other then you'll get that kind of decent result that you're looking for so now we can do the same thing where we'll just generate the vertical geometry just like this so click on this little box and then go ahead and click the checkbox so you can see how now what you've got is you've got your arc up here you've got all of your support geometry along the side and you've also got your path and then what we can do now is we can come in here and we can basically generate pipes along these paths um, in order to give this a little bit of depth and make this look like a little bit stronger of a structure so and the first thing we're gonna want to do because you gotta remember you're probably gonna have people in here so sometimes it's a good idea to bring in like a 2d person um, piece of geometry to give you an idea of scale just so you can kind of understand so in this case we'll just uh, select 2d face me person and you can really select any of these people they should most of them should be to scale um, so we'll go ahead and download this one into my model just to give me kind of an idea of my height because what we want to do and we'll go ahead and move this down so that she'd be standing right on this face what you want to do is you want to look at this and figure out which ones of these lines would be blocking the walkway and then erase them out so in this case probably I'm gonna erase out this line this line and this line so probably the first three maybe you know what if I was to move her over a little bit to about here maybe you'd get the first four so we'll start with the first four and then we'll come over here and we'll do that on the other side as well so we'll just delete those out because those would be kind of blocking the walkway for a person so now you've got your person in here to give you an idea of the scale that's that's usually a good a good thing to do just to kind of uh, make sure everything's kind of looking the way that it should so now what we've got is we've got all of these different support pieces well all we want to do and we we could go ahead and start with this big one actually because that's going to be a bigger support piece so what we want to do in this case is we're going to use the extension pipe along path by TIG um, to create a pipe along this along this right here so we'll just go to extensions pipe along path and I'll link to that in the notes below um, but we'll go ahead and try this with a diameter of one foot and see how it looks. That might be a little big, but we'll try it. No, I think that looks pretty good. So all we did is we just came in there, we selected our path, and then we selected pipe along path, and it created this pipe right here. And actually, you could probably stop with the supports right here if you wanted to. I want to give these a little bit more depth. So all you're going to do is you're going to double-click inside this group that Curveloff created, and you're just going to select... everything and you can erase these points that got created on the ends here because those are just going to kind of get in your way for right now so you can just select 
all I did is I selected all these lines that Kurvilov created, and then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do pipe along path, and these I'm gonna make probably about two inches. And you can see how it didn't like that because this isn't continuous. And so there's another extension we're gonna use for these because it's not a continuous path called lines to tubes. So um, I'll link to that in the notes below as well, but that'll show up under your tools and it'll be under convert arcs, circles, curves, lines to cylinders. So you'll click on that. These are all fine. You can go ahead and make each tube a group if you want to. And we're just gonna give it a diameter of two inches and hit okay. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna come in here and that's gonna generate a whole bunch of tubes along these lines right here. So you can see how it came in here and said 150 tubes created. So now this has some depth to it. So now if you were to come in here and render these, they'd actually show up. So that's kind of what you want. So we're gonna come in here and we're gonna do the same thing with these lines right here. So tools, convert arcs, lines, circles to cylinders, same settings, go ahead and hit OK. And that's just gonna take a little bit of time, um, partially because I created each one of those tubes as a group. So you can see how it came in here. It says it created 190 tubes. So now you've got your suspension bridge shape in here with your support tube and your hanging supports or your suspension supports in here as well. They have a little bit of depth. So and you may wanna come in here and do the same thing with these support pieces right here. And actually before you do that, what you might wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and hide this tube that I created. You may wanna go ahead and close this in so you've got a little bit of a surface in here that you can work with. So keep the surface, but now what you can do is you can do the same thing. You can use pipe along path in this case to create another 12 inch tube along each one of these. So you have these pipe supports in here as well. So then I'm gonna unhide my main support post and there you go. So, and I may come in and if there's any interest, I may come in and uh, talk about how to use shape bender to create the rails for this. I'm not gonna put that in this video because I specifically wanted to focus on the curve aloft piece for right now. So leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Do you wanna see the uh, piece with the rails getting bent with shape bender? Um, did you like this workflow? Did you even know curve aloft could do stuff like this? I just love having that sketch up conversation with you guys, so I'd love it if you'd leave a comment below. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider visiting my support me page on my website. That's got everything from extensions you can purchase to support the show to links to my Patreon page. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.